It seems like the world is getting ready to go fully left field now. Apparently, the director over CERN went to go visit the Bilderberg Group. And many of you who know about the Bilderberg Group, you know, they're the high ups or the Illuminati, the um, Freemasons that basically govern the world. They're the ones that make the big shot decisions on what affects the Earth and how things are to go here on this planet, you know? with all the governmental systems and states and whatnot. And so if you're meeting with the Bilderberg group, you're planning on affecting the world in some type of way. And so, like I said, the director of CERN met with the Bilderberg group. And to coincide with that, CERN has released on their official YouTube page, this video, I'll put it in the link in the description of this video here, I'll put the link there. And it's a long video, but they talk about some key things and they blatantly put it out there that they are indeed trying to open dimensions. They don't say it blatantly, but they talk about um, other dimensions and stairways to heaven and um, multiverse theories and whatnot. They're blatantly coming out and they're saying this. Now, to those of you who don't know what CERN is all about, um, let me start from what I from what I first heard about CERN a few years ago. Basically, CERN is this. Um, they're the ones that, first of all, they host the World Wide Web, but also they have a particle collider in um, Switzerland, Geneva, and this particle collider is the biggest particle collider in the world is the lar is called the Large Hadron Collider and what they do is they move these particles around in a particle accelerator at near light speed and these particles collide and once they collide they open up black holes or wormholes and they've been measuring these um, wormholes that these particle collisions create and um, basically, they claim that they're trying to recreate the um, the conditions that they claim were there right after the Big Bang. Of course, I don't believe in the Big Bang. It's a bunch of malarkey, in my opinion. But like I said, fast forward to now, and CERN is officially admitting that they are indeed planning to open up dimensional barriers. These are real scientists talking about this thing. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie. But then again, any atheist reading the Bible would think that that sounded like science fiction too. You know the story about the Tower of Babel and how they were going to build a tower to reach the heavens and the Most High sitting on his throne said that nothing will be withheld from them. It, because of how one on one accord and how strong their faith was and so he had to come down and confuse their tongues and throw all these different languages out there to confuse everybody so that they can communicate and then get the job done back in ancient times during the biblical days they were trying to transcend their human limits their human bounds and now in today's time they're trying to do the same thing only thing is they're using advanced technology that was obviously obviously revealed to them by some type of higher intelligence aka spirit so that they could release something onto this world as prophesied in revelations let's read revelations chapter 9 really quick so it starts off and it says the fifth angel sounded his trumpet and i saw a star that had fallen from the sky to the earth the star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. When he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. The sun and the sky were darkened by the smoke from the abyss. And out of the smoke, locusts came down on the earth and were given power like that of scorpions on the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth nor any plant or tree, but only those people who did not have the seal of Yah on their foreheads. They were not allowed to kill them, but only to torture them for five months. And the agony they suffered was like that of the sting of a scorpion when it strikes. During those days, people will seek death, 
but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will flee from them. I'm not going to get into the description of what the locusts look like. You can read Revelations chapter 9 to find that out yourself. But bottom line, it speaks about an abyss being opened. A star coming down with the key to the bottomless pit. This abyss opens and then these locusts come out upon the earth. Now there has been lots of talk concerning everything going on in CERN and how they're trying to connect with interdimensional beings or extraterrestrials and they're trying to release these spirits on the earth. Matter of fact, many of you know about the statue of Shiva that just so happens to be outside of the CERN facilities. And you know, if you know about, if you know anything about Shiva, Shiva is the Hindu god of destruction. Destruction, you say? Well, when you read further into Revelations chapter nine and it talks about the demon locust, it talks about its leader, their leader was the king of the bottomless pit, the angel of the bottomless pit, which his name is Abaddon in the Hebrew tongue and Apollyon in the Greek tongue. And he is referred to as the destroyer. Shiva the destroyer, huh? Bottom line, CERN has blatantly confessed to the fact that they are indeed tampering with dimensions and mirror worlds and um, other uh, multiverses and whatnot. They've already confessed that in this video that I'm putting in the link description. Now, it's a whole lot of um, other talk in the video about other things, and but it, listen to it when you get a chance and watch what they're saying in this here video. In this presentation, they talk about a few things that are quite scary. Now, there was this other guy who actually went through and talked about all these things inside of his video, and he got down to the nitty gritty and cut straight to the point, and he found all the scenes in the um, presentation of CERN where they were talking about a lot of this uh, extra dimensional stuff that they're trying to do with CERN. So I'm going to also put the link to his video in the description so you can get to the scenes a lot faster. But nonetheless, they've confessed and it's about to get very stressful on earth really soon. Um, they are setting the groundwork for biblical prophecy to be fulfilled very soon. And it's time for people to get their hearts and their minds in order so that they don't have to be here for this trying time that's about to come up on earth right now.